Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to the uh, commissioner's meeting for um, April 8th. Um, we are blessed again to have our veteran, um, Scott Castle, um, lead us in the pledge. And we're also uh, honored to have our prothonotary, Allison Blue, to lead us in the invocation. Please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this day, this beautiful day that you have given us. And I pray as we are um, taking time to remember this week the sacrifice you made on the cross and the fact that you rose again. And while this Easter may look different, we can still celebrate a risen Savior. Pray that we can um, find ways to celebrate with family, even though we are apart. I pray you would give wisdom to those who make decisions. President Trump, Governor Wolf, our commissioners, and I pray that you would heal those that are sick. I pray all these things in your son's name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Um, item number four on the agenda. I'll make a motion to approve the conveyance by special warning deed of tax parcel and the numbers listed in the agenda, Pleasant Acres Road in Springsbury Township to 118 Pleasant Acres Road Master Condo, LLC, and authorize the President Commissioner to sign the deed as grantor on behalf of the County of York. The County Solicitor and Administration are authorized to take all necessary steps to effectuate this conveyance. Second. I have a motion. Any second? Any questions? And Mark, could you explain or Michelle explain this motion? The nursing home is actually on the same parcel as what the 911 center is, the prison, the youth development center, uh, the substance abuse center, and all those all those facilities, archives. And the easiest way to make the transfer happen was to create a condo association. Uh, we found out later that the condo association wouldn't work the way the new owner needed it to for HUD financing, and we agreed to go through a subdivision plan. The subdivision plan has finally been completed, and this motion and the next motion are basically to get out of that condo plan and go to the subdivision plan and transfer the parcels that, or the parcel that the nursing home and the annex are on to the new owner. And then the, the, motion, the following motion is for the County of York and the remaining parcels, which include the prison, the 911 center, substance abuse center, annex, um, and youth development center to remove them from the condo association that was created back in 2018. So basically, Swansburg Township subdivision plan, we now are out of the condo association. Correct. We parceled off the part that we sold, and we own the facilities that were on that piece of land that was parceled off. Right. Okay. Michelle, did you have anything to add? No. Okay. Um, any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number five. I make a motion to approve the adoption of the First Amendment to the Declaration of Condominium for Pleasant Acres, a condominium, to effectuate the withdrawal of certain withdrawable real estate identified here, herein. The President Commissioner is authorized to sign the First Amendment as declarant on behalf of the County of York and the County Solicitor Administration are authorized to take all necessary steps to effectuate, effectuate the recording of this First Amendment and the aforementioned withdrawal of withdrawable real estate pursuant to and in accordance with the terms of the Declaration of Condominium for Pleasant Acres, a condominium. Second. 
I have a motion and a second, and I think Mark already kind of gave an explanation for this, so thank you. Um, any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number six. I make a motion to approve the allocation of $75,000 of Marcellus Shale funding to Jackson Township for the continued development of Little Creek Com Community Park. The funds will be allocated over a three-year period 2020, 2021, and 2022. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion on And Mark, this is something that I guess we got a request from Jackson Township, and this is exactly the type of use that these Marcellus sons are set up for? Yes, it is. Uh, Jackson Township will use this money as match for a DCNR grant that they've received to, to develop the park as well. And then after this meeting, they will get a letter, I guess, stating the action we took. Okay. We do these on a reimbursement basis, so they'll submit expenses that they paid for and we'll disperse the funds at that time. Great. Okay. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number seven. I make a motion to approve a temporary furlough plan for the County of York related to the COVID-19 pandemic for employees reporting to the Board of Commissioners, the York County Courts, and the majority of the county row offices. The plan will furlough employees across these departments for an unspecified period of time beginning April 11th, 2020. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Julie, I just want to make a comment. Sure. Um, this is a very difficult decision that this board had to come to, but we're trying to look forward down the road um, to hope that this is going to be a very short-term problem that we can rectify hopefully shortly. So I ask everybody to be calm, be patient, um, help each other where they can, and uh, we will persevere and we will get stronger after this is over. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Good. I agree. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number eight. I make a motion to approve the extension of policy G1-19.1 pandemic COVID-19 work operations modifications on behalf of the York County Board of Commissioners, extending the date through April 30th. Second. I have a motion and a second. And I guess, Julie, this was... Sure. Um, so the reason we're extending is we've been working hand in hand with our colleagues in the judicial system. And given that the Pennsylvania Supreme Court extended um, their order through April 30th, we are aligning with what they're doing. So for now, we will extend to April 30th, and then we will uh, reevaluate with our colleagues in the judicial system at that time. Um, any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number nine. I make a motion to approve the check register for the week of April 8th, 2020, totaling $3,934,060.03. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any questions, concerns, comments? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number 10. Um, we, we did have an executive executive session to discuss um, the furloughs that transpired since our last meeting. Um, as far as other businesses, um, just to confirm, given the extension of the declaration, county offices will continue to be closed to the public through April 30th, 2020. Um, the judicial system is open um, for those venues identified by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. Um, just to uh, reiterate that there are, are boxes um, in the lobby of the county administration building for recorder of deeds, our assessor's office, our treasurer's office, and our controller's office. So certainly if you have business to be conducted in those departments, you can drop something off there or certainly um, call us or uh, send us an email. We also wanted to share with you that um, following um, the governor's um, request, um, county flags have been lowered to half mass to honor uh, COVID victims. Uh, again, following the state's lead, um, 
Governor Tom Wolf ordered Commonwealth flags on all Commonwealth facilities, public buildings, and grounds fly at half staff until further notice to honor the victims of the 2019 novel corona pandemic. So uh, you'll see the county flags now are being uh, flown at half mast. Wanted to again reiterate for our community out there um, the phone number for incident command. That's 717. 840-2990. And I have a couple updates again from our uh, colleagues in the community. Um, the first one, again, from the York County Economic Alliance. They continue to work with nonprofit organizations to assist their applications for small business funding. And this includes pay the Paycheck Protection Program. Applications submitted through financial institutions. Thus, if you have a banking relationship, the suggestion is please start there. Um, there are instructional information um, available at their www.preparedyork.com website. And as a reminder, Prepared York also houses information for the local sourcing initiative for personal protective equipment. If you are a producer or a seeker of personal protective equipment, please connect with the York County Economic Alliance. And this information is available, again, on www.preparedyork.com. Our two healthcare partners um, in the community, UPMC and Wellspan, also have some updates to share uh, with you today. Um, just a reminder from UPNC, um, they do continue to see an increase in the number of people being tested at UPMC Hanover and UPMC Memorial. And as a reminder, um, testing at those facilities is by uh, appointment. Um, emergency uh, department patients at uh, UPMC um, will be tested if they meet the criteria for testing. And depending on the severity of the symptoms, patients are either being sent home for self-quarantine or admitted to the hospital for care. Um, in addition, um, UPMC, all of their express care locations are open. Um, they are expanding their primary care and specialty care services through the use of video and telephone visits. And um, also sharing with you, uh, patients can call UPMC Pinnacle 24-7 Nurse Advice Line at 1-866-968-9000. Seven seven three one to ask questions or to request um, advice. An update from our, our colleagues at Wellspan. Um, they've been focused on early testing. Um, that healthcare system has conducted more than 8,000 tests. Approximately 400 of them have been tested positive. The overwhelming majority of those patients are recovering at home, and only a very small percentage are being treated at WellSpan hospitals. Their early strategy to do widespread testing to those who are symptomatic and at risk for COVID-19 has enabled them uh, to slow the spread. Also, they are, much like UPMC, harnessing the power of technology and have increased availability to alternative care options. In the last two weeks of March, Wellspan Physicians Advanced Practices Clinicians conducted more than 4,000 video visits and more than 9,000 telephone visits. Wellspan is now conducting 40% of its total medical practice visits through those new care alternatives. In addition, they've been increasing hospital capacity and they plan to double their critical care capacity at their hospitals and are estimating that an additional 160 ICU beds um, will be added. And as a reminder, Wellspan's coronavirus hotline is 855-851-3641. If you do not have a primary care provider or you need additional information on coronavirus, please feel free um, to call them. So those are the few updates I have from those folks today. Um, now we will open it up for public comment. Um, if there's any comments on Facebook, certainly, um, Mark, if you could share them with us. And um, certainly the, f the phone line is, is open as well. Mm. Okay, um, so if I could have a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, we are adjourned. Thank you, everyone, and um, be safe and stay well. <laughs>